Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, the food experience is back with yours truly, KJ Andy O. Today's experience is something so simple and rudimentary, but nonetheless, I think maybe some people will get something from it. Today, I'm going to make the perfect cinnamon sugar. You could use it for toast, French toast, or anything else you want to top cinnamon sugar on. I have a little bit of a different spin, so here's the way we're going to do it. We're going to use brown sugar, regular sugar, cinnamon. I have a measuring cup. I have a measuring spoon. And I have a shaker that I'm going to put the end results in. Usually, the ratio that most people use is a 1 to 4. So normally, one part cinnamon and then three parts regular sugar. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I hope I have enough cinnamon here. I was going to go to the store and buy a big container, but... Hopefully this works. So I'm going to try to measure out a quarter cup of cinnamon. Yeah, quarter cup. There we go. And I got leftovers. Okay, so I'm going to add the sugar. And that's going to bring it to one cup. Perfect. Right on the money. And for the final ingredient, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of brown sugar. Next, what you could do is stir it up, but that's going to be rather tedious. So what I'm going to do is add it to a large container. Get that lid on. Make sure your lid is on good, folks. And next, just continuously shake this until you feel that it is completely combined and mixed together. Okay, it should all be mixed up. Let's go ahead and open her up. Woo! Smells good. I love cinnamon. So I'm going to transfer it to this container. Now first thing I want to mention, I make a lot of cinnamon toast. If you're not going to use cinnamon sugar a lot, you may not want to use one of these because the cinnamon isn't going to last as long, right? So you may want to put it in a closed container because this kind of thing is always going to be open to air, okay? But by the time I use it, it's not going to make a difference. So there we go. Let's go ahead and add it. Oh, that's just about perfect right there. Yes, it is. I don't know if you can see, but that's literally a perfect amount. This holds one cup. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. Next, we're going to make some cinnamon toast. And I have a method to do that where you don't tear apart your bread. Let's go. First, I'm going to take two slices of bread. This is some nice thick cut white bread right here. Put my Cuisinart TOA60 to toast mode. And here we go with the toast. While the toast is going, I'm going to take some whipped butter and I'm going to go ahead and add a good deal of it to this microwave safe container and throw it in the microwave. I got some nice bubbly butter right there. Okay, got the toast out of the toaster. Time to butter it up. With that, I'm going to take a basting brush and brush on the butter. That way you don't tear your bread up. Now that everything is all buttered up, time to apply that cinnamon sugar. And I like to put a generous amount on so where you can still see cinnamon sugar flakes on top of the bread. Just like that. And the final secret is to popping it back into the toaster. And I'm going to put the oven on for a minimal amount of time just to get everything melted in. The cinnamon sugar melted in with the butter. Now everything should be good to go. There you go, folks. Perfect cinnamon toast right there. Piping hot. Let's dig in. Comes out perfect each and every time. Goodness. And it's thick bread, so you could actually see how thick the bread is, and there's a good coating of cinnamon sugar. I had to apply a lot of butter. It's thick bread. Thinner bread, less butter, less cinnamon sugar. Best part's always the middle bite, right? So that closes out this segment 
of how to make the perfect cinnamon sugar, how to make cinnamon toast, and I hope you guys enjoyed what I brought to you today. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to drop me a line below. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and make sure the bell has the little notifications on there so you get all of my videos. And with that said, we are going to buzz out of here. Have a stellar day. Be excellent. And most of all, remember me. I'm KJ Andio, your food experience host with the most. Take care, my fine folks, and I'll see you next time. Laters.